Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How The Ale. Tonight we are revisiting the Titanic pub in a box, but we're doing something ever so slightly different. A slight confessional, I've had to buy additional beer to go alongside this one, um, because I only had one of said beer in the box. Which one? You know what it is, you've clicked on the link, but it's this one. It is stout. And the reason I had to buy more is because we're doing a side-by-side -side comparison tonight. A bit... Uh, bit different you know and I like to find the best way to have a particular beer and in this instance I'm comparing a warmer like room temperature stout which is how I generally prefer them to a cold refrigerated pint of said beer so we are having not the one but the two this one has been fridge chilled and this one is room temp and we're going to pour them into their own respective glasses and compare the pours, compare the aromas, and of course the most important bit, the taste, and see which we prefer. So we are going to start by pouring the room temp into an, an, an obgoblin glass tonight, um, just to keep it obvious. I could have used two titanic pint glasses, but then it's difficult to tell which one's which. So it's bottle conditioned, so we're going to pour carefully. Don't want to get it too excited. So the pour on the room temp. It is excited. You can see it's pouring jet black. It's got a very, very good head on it. And because it's bottle conditioned, there, there, there was a little extra yeast in the bottle, just so it can mature, and that generally results in a in a better flavour overall. I'm having to be a little bit careful with the pour because, like I say, it's room temperature is a little bit more excitable, and we don't want to get. A massive mess. I'm gonna leave it there because I mean there's a there's dregs left in the in the glass. But you can see we've got a jet black beer that is well carbonated, you've got a good head, and if you notice carefully on the head it is kind of growing and it is a uh, a lovely looking pint of stout. So you've got a good finger and a half of uh sort of off white head that's reasonably compact and uh, and it's looking good. So that's the pour on the room temp. Now it's uh, easing up a bit. We'll get the last little bit in there just for good measure. There we go. No unpleasantries in that one. And then we're gonna go on to the gold one. And it's been in the fridge good few hours just to uh, chill right down and pouring into the titanic glass and the pour is less excitable so if you want to kill some of the carbonation refrigerate There we are. A much more, shall I say, civilised pour. That's your beer in a glass. Jet black, good finger of, of head. It's more consistent on the head. Let's get them side by side and compare. So, up close. You've got a smaller head on the fridge pour. And it is, to my eye, it is a little bit more compact and consistent on the head on the cold versus the room temp. Let's go in for some aromas. We're going to start with a cold one. Coffee, roasted malt, a little bit of chocolate. And kind of like figs, think those kind of dark fruits. Figs, raisins, sultanas that have been kind of kept like, like in a Christmas cake, that kind of thing. It's very, very pleasant indeed. Now the room temperature, I always find, lets everything just come alive and just pop out at you. See if it's the same with this one. It's different. 
there is more of the coffee kind of aromas coming from the room temperature than there was on the cold. Yeah, a lot more coffee. The roasted malts are still there, but they're, they're more in the background and the, the kind of the fruity notes that I've got, like the figs and stuff, that's kind of not present in the room temp, which is unusual um, because I, I normally find I get a lot more come out at room temperature than I do on the cold. But yeah, so unusually for me, I prefer the aroma of the cold one. That is unusual for me, I must admit. Anyway, they both smell good, but the cold one is just a little bit more kind of complex. You get a little bit more of everything that comes through and it's more balanced. Yeah, it's more balanced. That's a, a fair way of putting it. Now look at the look at the head retention. The, the cold has kept its head. I mean, obviously there's a, a few seconds between the pour, but, uh, but the, the room temp is losing it a little bit. Let's go in for a taste. We're going to go with the cold one first. Cheers. We've got a good body on it. It's a little bit heavier than sort of middling, but the roasted malts are divine. They are. They're not overly powerful, but they're present. You get a little bit of smokiness that comes through and those fruits that I mentioned earlier are very much present and correct as well. It's a nice sweet stout up front. Like I said, and when those malts come through, you kind of get a little bit of bitterness that sort of sits there on the finish. And it's quite a dry finish as well. Very nice indeed. So let's go for the room temperature version. Interesting. The cold kind of solidifies the beer, if you will. With this one at room temp, it's a little bit more open, a little bit more, what's the word? It's less viscous and it just floats over your tongue in a different way. The flavours are slightly different as well. You've got more of the, the coffee that comes out here. It's a little bit of a creamier coffee. And again, the fruits are, they're there, but they're not as obvious as the cold. You get the same kind of bitterness at the end of the, of the taste as well, whereas it's sweeter up front. And it's, it is equally as dry, but it's, let me just uh, see if I can quantify in my head. Yeah. I'm gonna buck my trend with this one. Ordinarily, I prefer a room temperature stout to allow the flavors to pop, but this one, it benefits from being served cooler because you get a better flavor profile. You get a little bit more of the whole experience when it's a bit, bit chilled. I think allowing those kind of fruits to come through and it, and it balances out the flavors really, really well. And it's just a more, more well-rounded experience. Yeah, that's unusual for me. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nice at room temperature, um, but, but when it's cold, like in the, the Titanic glass, you get just a different experience. So, which do I prefer? We'll come back to that in just a second. Let's just go through the bottle. What does the bottle tell me? It tells me on the front that it's traditional and it's roasted and it's dry on the front and on the back it says that the uh, the tasting notes are traditional well-balanced dry stout with a roasted smell and taste with definitive hoppy notes to look at it's black yes there's no denying that the aromas coffee burnt and roasted again that's present very much so um get a little bit of chocolate come through though that isn't really kind of considered but everyone's nose is different some people might get it some people might not and the taste is said to be dry roasted and smooth 
And again, it is dry on the finish. It is a roasted malt throughout and it is smooth as well. Smoother when it's cold. Um, when it's room temp, it, it kind of, it's a little bit more excitable. It's less viscous and it kind of bounces around your mouth. Where it's chilled, it, it, it's more of what you expect from a stout. It's got that heaviness that you want from a, a big sort of heavy stout. It describes itself as being four out of five on, out of bitterness and three out of five on the sweetness. I would say, do I agree? I don't disagree with the sweetness. It's definitely sweet. I think the bitterness is a little bit overstated. But again, everyone's sort of definition of what is bitter and what isn't is different. For me, I like them bitter. I like them as bitter as they come. Um, so, you know, it's it's hard for me to say this is truly bitter. There is an element of it, but I'd, I'd perhaps put it more so in the middle than, uh, than four out of five. And it says about it being bottled conditioned. It says we've chosen to leave live yeast in the beer to help the flavors fully mature, pour carefully. Well, yes, it is a fully rounded, well matured flavor and it works really, really well. A little bit of information, you've got the Maris Otter, Pearl, Wheat and Roasted Barley as your malts and your hops are Goldings, North Down and Celia. And it is a rather tasty package all round. So yeah, let's go back to uh, which one do I prefer? Well, like I say, unusually for me, I prefer the colder one um, because you get a bit more of everything come through. You get the fruits, you get the malts, you get the coffee, you get the dark roasted elements, a little tiny hint of smokiness. It's all round delicious. So, would I buy Titanic Stout again? I would, absolutely. It's got flavors that I love. It's got a sensible price. Um, it's very well balanced. You've got a sensible ABV as well. It's only four and a half percent, ladies and gents. So you could sit and enjoy a good few of these and not be put on your backside or sunk like the Titanic. Um, would I rush out and buy it again? Absolutely I would. Um, again, I like a good stout and I like them with full flavor and I like them where I can enjoy a good few and again, not be sunk. Um, so yeah, this fits the bill. It fits all of my criteria. It's got everything I love in a stout. Can I find a reason to not give it full marks? No, I can't. Um, it's, it's, it's a stout that I think I will sit and drink for the rest of the days that it is brewed. I've always loved a good stout. I was a big Guinness fan in my younger years and I've enjoyed stouts from across the world in, in more recent years. But for a stout that you would call sessionable and is locally available to me this is absolutely spot on 100 percent knocking it out of the park i cannot fault it in any way shape or form so i cannot find any reason to give titanic stout anything less than five out of five on the old untapped score sheet which is quite rare let's be honest um there's good stouts out there some very good stouts out there and there are exceptional top shelf god tier stouts out there and this one belongs on the god tier ladies and gents um it may only be four and a half percent and it may be available from the brewery you can get it from a few select shops in the in the stoke-on-trent area i don't know where else sells it but if you can find it i highly recommend you try it because i think you'll fall head over heels in love with it like i have uh, so there we are, ladies and gents, boys and girls. Before I prattle on too much, I'm going to uh, leave it there. I'm going to say down there are some buttons. You know exactly what to do with them. You've got the like, comment, dislike and subscribe. Use any combination of them as you wish. If you have tried the beer, let me know in the comment section down below as well. It'd be fantastic to read your thoughts. And on that note, this has been the beer. I've been Nick and I will see you again soon for another video. Bye.